Here's a video that expresses some of my questions I'm trying to ask. Listen. And I still hadn't found who God was. I felt like I had even gotten further away from understanding God. It had been years at this point that I had been seeking and trying to figure this out that I felt exhausted. Like I just felt so tired, so mentally worn out from trying to find something that kept seeming to evade me. You know, like I'm chasing after it and it's just getting further and further away as if God was running away from me rather than running to me. I remember hearing, if you take one small step towards God, he'll take one giant leap towards you. And yet, how do you explain this? And they always told me in church that if I sought God, if I, if I truly, genuinely sought him out, he would reveal himself to me in a big way. And I found that to be the opposite in my situation, that the more I sought, the more I tried to find him, the further away I got from him. And to the point where it was just unattainable. And I didn't even understand my place as a Christian. I didn't even Unless it is true, some God does not want to save everybody. God does not give grace to everybody. God does not love everybody. Unless it's true, God is prepping the human race for the great step, the great delusion, so that people believe a lie that they may may all be damned. And for this to happen, there has to be some collateral but damage on the part of some true people who truly want to find God. God has to turn them over to damnation so that He can damn the rest of them. Or Jesus are even real. I, I can't leave Jesus, but you know, I would be damned if I'm gonna go on gung home for Jesus and I get some fucking answers. Is Jesus real? Until I get some freaking answers, I'm I'm gonna do just enough to get by getting the get by by the skin of my freaking teeth. By enjoying as much of my life as I can. And I don't give a good goddamn about being great in heaven. Just, just I, 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 I don't care if I'm the least of the least. A homeless beggar. And if I'm a homeless bum on the streets of glory because I got no fucking mansion. Just as long as I get there. I hope there's a heaven. I don't, the, the thought of dying and that being the end is terrifying to me. It's terrifying. That's, that is my biggest fear. That death is the end. It's terrifying. It's fucking terrifying. You look. I, I've seen people die. It's terrifying. That look in our face. That twisted look on our face. That look. Uh, that, it's terrifying. Dying is terrifying to me. I'm terrified. I'm terrified of dying. Because. Not because of the hell. Because. What if death is the end? And all these near death expenses. They're just a little bonus you get. Before. The lights out, game over, the end. So if God is real, why is it some people are taking giant leaps towards God and God is not taking a tiny step towards them? The only thing I can conclude is that you got to seek the gospel to hear the pure gospel. And if you're, if you're in, in, in this day and age of counterfeit Christianity, you gotta be basically lucky to hear the pure gospel in its pure unadulterated form. Then God's spirit will speak to your heart. But even God's spirit can be held back through all the crap on our lives, so that we can una unable to hear His voice, unless He gives us extra grace to speak to us by a loudspeaker. God says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So if he wants to damn you, that's just it. That's just sort That's just, oh, well, wouldn't want to be you. I just wish God loved everybody. Why can't God save everybody? Why can't God love everybody and save everybody? Is he even, is he even fucking real?